مشاهدينا الكرام اهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وحلقه مميزه من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الاعمال مثل ما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف كفاءه جديده ومن زاويه سبيشال بزنس مان بليز ويلكم مستر كومار صاحب مطعم كومار ديبس كوتو هاي هاو ار يو سير جود ام فاين نايس تو ميت يو بليز توك اباوت يور سيلف از ا بزنس مان ان يو اي Right, so I come from a, a very normal or simple family from Sri Lanka. I studied up to be uh, becoming a doctor, mm -hmm. but uh, I come from a big family. Mm -hmm. I'm the third person in the family of eight, and I was being brought up in to be a responsible person. When my father retired, I did my Uh, graduation from school, mm -hmm. then I realized instead of going further education, uh, I thought of looking at business practices, so doing the best uh, job that I thought mm -hmm. I'll be doing. Uh, I'm physically, basically, I'm a workaholic. I thought the hotel field was one of the best fields that I can think of or choose at the time of the time that I was graduated. And in, in 1980s, Sri Lanka has become a tourist destiny, and as well as the, 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 the hotel uh, has started to come up big way. So I actually thought of becoming a hotelier. Since 1980, I joined High Regency Dubai as a pre opening team member, mm -hmm. uh, joining a housekeeping team as a housekeeping supervisor. Grown up to be the executive housekeeper, mm -hmm. and I moved on with the hire to go on to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. become a director of human resources, looking after Jeddah property as well as Riyadh property, and then coming back to Dubai to do a huge project for all our hotels situated in Dubai, a housing project called Sahari Village. Mm -hmm. So, 2002, we built this. Project called Sahar Village, the housing for 2,500 hired staff, mm -hmm. along with their families, live in one roof. So I was director of housing from 2002 all the way to 2017. Mm -hmm. So if you see my career, I have always been a people's man, and uh, I've been rewarded to be and recognized to be a people's man. So yes. I had at some point to retire myself from my mm -hmm. and I decided to continue with my journey in Dubai. Mm -hmm. One of the best places that I thought in Dubai, uh, in the world, to do uh, 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 business. Mm -hmm. So I actually thought of doing different types of businesses. I started with cleaning and maintenance company. In the meantime, I was thinking of doing you know, a restaurant. Because I was a hotelier, that's my background, and my cleaning and, and uh, operations is my second background. So I thought of combining all these operations would be my, my future. Here we are, Dubai has given me the, the hope mm -hmm. to grow up as a businessman. I am a good hotel operator, mm -hmm. but the day I started my own entrepreneurship as a businessman, I realized it's a different ballgame. It's a, it's a totally different ball game mm -hmm. that you are directly responsible, mm -hmm. not only responsible for your own money that mm -hmm. you invest. So that has got into my mind. But the experience, the, 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 the teachings of hire, the operations of the hotel has made me to be uh, stronger in my business career. Mm -hmm. Uh, to become one of the leaders in, in, in Dubai uh, as of Italia. Uh, sir, why did you choose this field of business? That's exactly what I mean. Mm -hmm. I was a hotelier, it's, it's, it's in, my, in my blood. Mm -hmm. I want to become uh, a successful uh, businessman. Mm -hmm. So I obviously selected my, my experience mm -hmm. where, where, where it's supporting me even till today. Mm -hmm. And why this business started in UAE? UAE has always been my second home. Mm -hmm. As I said, I joined my Regency in Dubai in 1980. Mm -hmm. I worked all the way till 1988. The company has promoted me and transferred me to Saudi Arabia to mm -hmm. take up the hotels there and brought me back to take care of the high hotels operations in Dubai. 
So I, after I retired, where should I go? I should stay here, continue. <laughs> so I decided to continue, uh -huh. and this was the base mm -hmm. for uh, one of the young, I would still call myself a young entrepreneur in business because I'm a still new guy in business. And uh, Dubai supports all the way yes. for any business going to come up in life. Mm -hmm. And did you have any branch outside the country? Outside the country, no. And Only here? Only yes, in the future. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. So what is the difficulty you have as a businessman in this field? Difficulties, I would put it this way. Mm -hmm. To have a fine balance of, of making profits, uh, making the customer happy, and in the meantime, be a, a, a good leader, good owner for your team. We all know that whatever we do, it's a team. It's a team who does this for you. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a football, or whether it's a cricket, whether it's a business. Yes. Without your team, you are nowhere. So I think to have a balance of work, life, uh, paying the salaries on time, to uh, look after their well-being, how they stay, where they stay, do they get a day off, all these has to be, I think, most important thing as a leader if you want to be a successful businessman. Mm -hmm. Sir, please talk more about your company. What you said, what you make here. Yeah, I have set up a restaurant mm -hmm. here. It's a multi-cuisine restaurant mm -hmm. where we do serve Sri Lankan. And obviously, I'm in a Sri Lankan. You can see all those Sri Lankan products in our showcases. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Indian, Pakistani, Chinese, bit of Arabic flavor. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we do Filipino food. Why? I come from a very strong multicultural background of operations. Where I used to work for Hyatt, I used to have like 138 nationalities. Mm -hmm. And everyone's need is different. Everyone likes the shawarma. Mm -hmm. But yes. a perfectly a good shawarma, then you go to a, a place where they make that mm -hmm. real shawarma. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who make shawarma. Same way, there are a lot of people who make Sri Lankan kotu. But there's a place that you can go and eat the real Sri Lankan kotu, is my place. Mm -hmm. So, this is why I have uh, set up a multi cuisine restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, it caters for all your neighborhood and a, a big audience mm -hmm. than my, my company does. So, how to connect you and our location? Where are you now? I'm in station in Russell, uh, International City, I'm uh, sorry, uh, uh, France Cluster, building number P07, mm -hmm. shop number 9. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find me on Google. You have, uh, if you have your Facebook, you mm -hmm. can uh, download our Facebook page as well. Of course, put a liking onto it, mm -hmm. and that's where you find us. أعزائي المشاهدين أرقام التواصل والويب سايت في أسفل الشاشة. Sir, what's a future plan? Future plan? Expansions. Expansion in a way as as a gastronomic is is a wild is a range of things happening as we speak. It's it's a science. Mm -hmm. The food is is not uh, something that gets stale or stopped somewhere. It's continue to be updated, changed as we speak. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we are we are just started our pastry and bakery. You can see uh, we are coming up with our, our own pastry snap. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, we are trying to do everything possible within our limits without putting too much pressure on our operational staff, but to cater for needs of our customers. Mm -hmm. Because I'm being a, a catering company as well. I, I do work with the leading supermarket chains in Dubai mm -hmm. where we have multinational staff people who work in their offices, who live around us, uh, who do need different food. Uh, that's where my job is. And please leave a message for UAE president and governments. Well, Alhamdulillah, thank you very much. I should say, I mean, this is my second goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what should I say? that any person that I know in my life, I would say visit Dubai at least once. Mm -hmm. This is a dream come true. The, the life is actually where 
here is where you can really be your own person. Because there are limits, there, there are do's and don'ts you follow and you enjoy your life. As I said, as a, as, as a businessman, I need to have myself going, I'm not the young person. Yes. I need to have a life and work balance so that I can continue to work for another few years. And this is the place. And thank you very much for the rulers of this country. Thank you, sir. Thank you. مشاهدينا الكرام إلى هنا نختم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع كان معنا مستر كومار صاحب مطعم كومار ديبس انتظرونا فرايدي أن ساتردي ون إي بي سي إربيا أن سوشيال ميديا دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله